Women still account for 74% of all of the child rearing and the work done at home. So until you even out the child, um, you know, at home sort of situation, it's going to be very hard for women to do everything. I mean, they can't uh, take over and work a full-time job and do everything at home as well. So, um, and I think you see hope with that with the millennial generation, where um, more and more men are stepping up to become more and more involved in their children's lives. So, hopefully, that will um, empower more women to get out into the workforce because child care really is the sort of silver bullet right now and the fact that the U.S. doesn't have uh, child care the way Europe does um, is, is really the, the number, the top reason, the number one reason why women aren't more in the workforce. There are economic benefits to having more women in upper management positions. Uh, not only is it something that can uh, impact their profitability, but it's something that our customers will also notice as well. If they see that this is a company that celebrates women in the workforce, um, then they might be more likely to use that company's services. So we know that there are social and that there are also economic benefits to having women in the top levels of management in America's biggest companies.